Hi welcome back to Travel Destination. It is a branch of the United Nations, UN, that promotes peace and security through education, science, and culture. UNESCO focuses on the protection, maintenance, and restoration of some of the most beautiful landmarks around the world. I always seek these sites out when traveling the world, and here are my top 10 UNESCO World Heritage Site experiences around the world. 1. Explore the streets of Old Havana. La Habana Vieja or Old Havana, an UNESCO World Heritage Site, is the historical center of Cuba's capital city. It is the heart of Havana. You can easily spend hours aimlessly strolling through the narrow streets taking in the colors and history attached to them. There are countless historic colonial buildings, monuments, cutting-edge galleries, restaurants, shops, and lovely plazas to explore. This is also where you will find many of Hemingway's famous stops. 2. Spend a night in Jordan's Wadi Rum Desert. Wadi Rum is 720 square kilometers of heart-stopping desert landscape, where a maze of sheer-sided sandstone and granite monoliths rise up from the valley floor. Touring Petra archaeological site and floating in the Dead Sea were absolutely unforgettable experiences in Jordan, but spending the night in the vast Wadi Rum desert was an adventure. In this UNESCO desert you can ride camels along the same path as Lawrence of Arabia, run down the soft sand dunes and sleep inside of a tent in a small Bedouin-run camp surrounded by sandstone rocks. It is extraordinary. 3. Watch the blue-footed booby dance in the Galapagos Islands. The Galapagos Islands certainly is a magical place where you can be immersed in a nature display unlike no other. The remote UNESCO destination is a melting pot of unique wildlife, which inspired Charles Darwin's landmark theory of evolution following his visit in 1835. It is home to wildlife species that are found nowhere else on Earth giant tortoises, flightless cormorants, and booby birds. Oh my! There are three types of boobies on the Galapagos Islands, blue-footed, red-footed and Nazca. Though it is common to see them all while exploring the area, it is a little rarer to witness a blue-footed booby mating dance. This dance was their unique courting ritual, which included rocking side to side while lifting their eye-catching baby blue feet. On our last day of exploring the Galapagos Islands, on North Seymour, we saw one very popular female bird surrounded by a few male boobies who were strutting their stuff trying to impress this desirable lady. It was quite a spectacle. 4. Tour a monastery at Meteora in Greece. Greece is not all about white buildings with blue rooftops and delicious Greek food. There is so much more to explore. Like, the Meteora Monasteries. Meteora, meaning suspended in the air in Greek, is a magical complex of six active monasteries that are strategically built on natural sandstone pillars, some that rise up to 1300 feet in the air. Perched on the pinnacles of the Thessaly region, worshippers came to this world heritage site to discover peace and absolute isolation. Many years ago, Access to these monasteries was strenuous, using handmade ladders and baskets with a pulley system to hoist the monks and their goods up this was a system that had long been abandoned by the time I had arrived. You can admire the Meteora monasteries from afar, but also take the opportunity to tour the interiors and get a glimpse into a monk's lifestyle 1000 years ago. Entrance fee for the monasteries is 3 euros. 5. Cruise through Vietnam SHA Long Bay Just a three and a half hour drive from the bustle of the city of Hanoi in Vietnam lies a peaceful set of 1,600 islands and islets, Ha Long Bay. This bay has been the backdrop to many movies, including the Oscar-winning Indochine, and has also been featured on many best things to do before you die lists, including my own. The best way to explore this World Heritage Site is by cruising a junk boat through the waters. You can either do this as a day trip or choose to stay overnight on the boat. 6. See the sunrise at Borobudur Temple in Indonesia. You will need to begin your day in the wee hours of the morning, we woke up at 3.30 am, 
to catch the sunrise over Borobudur Temple, but it will be worth it. The historical UNESCO World Heritage Site is set on a mountaintop in the central Java area of Indonesia, amidst volcanoes and lush forest. It is the world's largest Buddhist temple, with over 500 Buddha statues scattered around the site. Climbing to the top of 95-foot high pyramid is like a pilgrimage in itself, providing an inner peace and enlightenment. Beware that the ascent of this monument can be difficult, but there are several terraces to explore along the way, each one giving a different perspective. 7. Climb Sijiriya Rock in Sri Lanka Sijiriya is an ancient palace, built in 480 AD, located in the central metal district of Sri Lanka. This top UNESCO site is known for its beautifully landscaped gardens, well-preserved frescoes, and a lot of stairs all at different anxiety-producing levels. Climbing the 1,200 steps will take some stamina, but the view at the top will be totally worth it. 8. Spend a day in the UNESCO town of Lunenburg. The port town of Lunenburg is a historic Nova Scotia coastal community that has the well-deserved title as a top UNESCO World Heritage Site. Whether you take in some shopping, dine at the quaint restaurants or stroll along the waterfront you will be in awe of its charm. Start your day with a cappuccino and a little shopping at the shop on the corner. Afterwards, hit up Ironworks Distillery for a short tour and a taste of delicious raspberry liquor. Make a stop for lunch at Salt Shaker Deli whose name is deceiving because there is much more than just sandwiches. If it is docked in town, set sail on the tall ship Blue Nose 2, a replica of the famous fishing and racing schooner. For dinner head to the trendy Lincoln Street food where you can nosh on veg and fish and chips or beat Naki with chanterelles. 9. Step inside a Kinderdijk windmill in the Netherlands. The Kinderdijk windmills are the largest concentration of old mills in the Netherlands, there are a unique collection of 19. Back in the day some of these mills were used to make paint, others pressed oil or crushed stone. In 1574 someone was even genius enough to make a windmill to saw wood, which resulted in a lot of timber. But, today these were used for pumping water to prevent sea water from flooding the land. A very innovative water management system. Not only are they an intricate design for excess water, but they are also homes. Of the 19 on-premise, which were built between 1738 and 1740, only three are unoccupied, one of which you could take a peek inside of. 10. C. Jordan S. Petra Archaeological Site by Day and Night The ancient city of Petra was carved into the rose-colored sandstone cliffs by the Nabataeans as early as 312 BC. There are over 30 incredible sites spread over 60 square kilometers, from temples to tombs to elaborate buildings. Three days a week visitors can attend Petra at night, where over 1,500 candles light the mile trek from the site to the treasury, an elaborate two-story tomb. A group of roughly 200 people will walk through the narrow rock fissures that are lit by candlelight. Walking through the site at night is a very mysterious experience. During the day, you can wander way beyond the iconic treasury building and explore trails that will pass by the street of facades, the theater, countless tombs, and through the arch. Thanks you for watching. Subscribe this channel for support next travel review.